I think we've made a lot of progress uh, in the preseason here. We had a great, uh, great couple of days here. The last few days of practice, we've really started to come together and gel. A uh, big thing that we've been doing is uh, getting some of our tempo stuff in, which I think makes us move a little bit better, and we work with a little bit better sense of urgency. But uh, overall, it's been a great camp for us so far, and uh, we just need to keep getting better every day. Oh, after two weeks, um, you know, I'm very pleased with where we're at defensively. Um, we started doing something a little bit new last year, and we finally carried it over, and we've been into it for 12 months. So um, finally having it under our belt for about 12 months now and everything, um, we've definitely improved. And things are getting a lot more comfortable for our guys, too. I mean, we saw it in the spring that they're more comfortable, and then coming into fall camp right now, I mean, I think guys are really comfortable, and it's helping our younger guys, too, because we have veterans that can teach them what to do. From a defensive line standpoint, Again, we only have a couple of young guys coming in. Uh, most everybody else is a veteran, so we've kind of just started off where we left in spring and got the ball rolling from there. It's been a little tough in the beginning because we really, I mean, Carden played probably 80% of the snaps last year, and and we haven't had um, anybody with a lot of a lot of uh, um, experience there. But it's kind of made it fun too because we've got to sit back and watch these guys perform and. They really haven't had that opportunity before because you knew what you had in Matt and Lance and everything. So, you know, Jason Gardner, Drake Demute, um, um, Dimitri Kaplanis, Jeffrey Jones, and those guys have really stepped up. And honestly, probably still got a couple more days before we find out who the guy's going to be. You know, obviously when you lose a player like Cameron Edwards and also Zach Greiner, uh, you're not just going to immediately replace people with that type of experience. But overall, it's been good. Uh, we, we did a great job, I think, coming in early, uh, creating competition, and, and we've had quite a few guys come in and step up. So, uh, you know, while, while those guys aren't going to be replaced, I, I think we can at least generate the same type of production at those positions and uh, hopefully improve with the returners that we do have. And, uh, you know, we're always looking to get better. So that's what we're going to keep doing uh, every single day. And, uh, and, and we will make strides this year. And I think we can improve on what we were last year as a unit. I think we've really done a great job this year of, of working together more with the offensive line and the running backs in the same room for meetings. Uh, we did walkthroughs together when we were installing plays. And uh, I think both units know a little bit more about what the other unit is doing. And uh, we've really kind of centralized the learning there. And I think it's helped quite a bit. And uh, overall, just having Antoine and Garrett back is obviously a huge, uh, a huge plus. Uh, we already had guys uh, who filled in great for them last year. Uh, so now we're just deeper uh, because, you know, the unfortunate situation that happened last year with the injuries. So um, we've got kids back there. Every time uh, one of those guys gets handed the ball, they can make a big play. And they certainly know how to uh, know how to finish, which is one thing I've noticed. Just a physical, physical group. And uh, as the offensive line continues to develop uh, with the group we have carrying the rock, I think we'll be pretty good. one position on the field probably outside of running back that rotates constantly and, and you have to because you're, you're in there three four plays you got to stop the run then you got to run, run after the quarterback and then the ball's thrown you got to chase after the guy catching the football so I mean I think you ask any defensive line coach in the country they rotate through eight nine guys because you just cannot sustain that type of uh, physical activity for 10 11 12 plays and especially with everybody going you know hurry up you, you crank out 80 90 plays in a game you can't have a guy taking 70 of those snaps it'll be completely exhausted and you just wear them out so I mean we're going to roll through two three groups of defensive linemen and get a lot of experience and then when you're seniors graduate the guys coming up have a lot of experience.
It's been an interesting camp. It seems like, uh, you know, in an inside run period, one day the offense will do pretty well, then the next day the defense will come back and uh, pretty much shut us down. And, and you know, it's kind of gone day by day. I've never really seen it like that before. Um, usually there's a little bit more balance with only a couple of days where one unit will dominate. But I think it shows that both sides have the ability to take a game over, which, which I think is important. And uh, there's been enough balance that, that I, I think uh, both units are going to be very competitive this year. Uh, we have outstanding players on defense. Uh, we, we have some kids uh, defensively who I think are the best in the nation at their position. And, and I certainly think offensively uh, we've got some pretty good ones as well. And I, I think uh, with the health returning to us on offense and uh, some of the guys and just the way some of the guys have stepped up, I, I think both units will be very good this year. Looking forward to it. had a great recruiting class about uh, three years ago and I think it's really paid off and every year we've added pieces to it. So I think, you know, we, we got two All-Americans but I think after the end of the year, I mean, there's a possibility we could, you know, have a third or, or, or even more than that and I, I just think we have a lot of talent on the defense and the recruiting that we've had and the development we've had the last three, four years has really paid off. Yeah, I mean, Carmen's been a punter for four years and Eber's been a kicker for the last two, so you know everybody's kind of used to seeing those guys, and, and now we got some young guys, and I think they've really taken it on um, upon themselves to get better over the summer and the off season, and I think there's really not going to be that much of a drop off. The only thing I think is going to be different is just the number on the guys punting and, and kicking.